I have always lived by one prayer, the serenity prayer. It states, Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. This prayer has helped me through some hard times. If I'm struggling, it helps me calm down and helps me keep a clear mind when it comes to the change going on around me. Change is everywhere. I change, people around me change, and the world changes. The hardest part of change is figuring out how you react to it. For me, I think I react pretty well when it comes to change. I mean, everything seems to have changed in my life. When I was younger, I was this really happy, optimistic little girl who loved her mom, dad, uncle, and cousin. I would sit in the front pew of the church with my mom and applaud the music minister as he finished a song or sit on my dad's shoulders as we walked around the zoo, or ride on the front of my Uncle Marmar's motorcycle, or even act like me and my cousin were swimming in the lake while actually swimming on pillows. No matter what I was doing, I was always around family or friends. But as I grew up, these people changed. My mom stopped acting as a caregiver and is now my best friend. My dad used to be around all the time, and now he seems to only be at work. My uncle used to come visit any time he could, and now I only get to see him about once a year. Me and my cousin, we were inseparable when we were younger, and now I barely get to see her because we go to different schools. My family is one of the most important parts of my life. I am the way I am today because of my family. Another reason I am the way I am is because of the friends I have in my life. My mom used to work at the YMCA part-time just so I can go and play in the daycare. I had friends there that were great and fun, and apparently I still know some of them today. I was on the soccer team at the Y, and I was even involved in an early educational program at Doss High School just so I can be involved in my community and know more kids my age. Then when I got to elementary school, I had more permanent friends. Friends that I got to see every day. When middle school came, some of those friends went to the same school as me, and others went somewhere else. So then, I had to make a few new ones, just like everyone else. But once I was done with middle school, the same thing happened again. I had to change my entire friend group one more time. In high school, I met some great friends my freshman year, but then I lost them. I went through my sophomore and junior year having little to no friends. The only person I would tell everything to was my mom. My mom is my absolute best friend. But then, at the very end of my junior year, I became great friends with some amazing people who I would not imagine my world without. They gave me stability and sanity when the world seems to be falling apart around me. My friends are some of the most important people in my life. But in school, there are a lot of other influences. Some of the people who helped me change are my teachers. I've had teachers who have been the biggest influence on me. My fourth and fifth grade teacher, Miss Stewart, made me love to read and love school. In middle school, I had teachers who made me feel like I had someone to talk to. And then in high school, I've had teachers who helped me realize what I want to do with the rest of my life and made me feel like I was prepared for my future. Some people ignore the impact their teachers have on their lives, but for me, I have no idea where I would be without them. Because of the changes that have occurred to me through all these people, I am the strong, independent person that I've become. But I'm not done changing. This is just the end of our high school career. We're only 17 and 18 years old. We have such a long life ahead of us. We're all leaving high school and planning for our future, whether it be college or trade school, or going straight into the workforce. But no matter what you do, you're going to change, and you have to accept the change. I'm slowly learning to accept the changes that are coming with my future, and I'm ready to dive headfirst into the challenge. I know I'll be fine with whatever happens, because all I have to do is say, Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. 